Hey guys, welcome to my first cooking video in my brand new apartment. Actually, I, I just noticed something. Hang on, hang on one second. I just uh, let me be less Asian for a second here. I didn't notice this stuff was still up. It's not like I was trying to like keep the plastic on the brand new appliances. Just to be clear, I don't keep the plastic on the appliances. I really didn't notice it till just now as I'm filming myself. I saw that this stuff was still on, and uh, so let's uh. Let's get this out of here. Brand new appliances, no plastic thingies. Anyway, today we're gonna cook a really popular dish that a lot of you probably have had before or at least have heard of. Today we're gonna cook three cup chicken. There's actually a variety of stories of how three cup chicken originated. A lot of people know it today as a Taiwanese dish. There's also a story of a Song Dynasty official. This was back in the 14th century. Uh, his name is Wen Tianxiang. He was imprisoned. One day a commoner who really respected him visited him in a prison and brought along a chicken. He asked the prison official to cook it for them. But the only ingredients the prison official had was uh, sesame oil, soy sauce, and uh, rice wine. And that's what they used in out came this delicious dish. Anyway, there are lots of stories about how this dish was originated, but no one can dispute how tasty this dish is and how easy it is to make. So let me show you how it's done. Also, this whole cooking process takes about 30 to 40 minutes. So I recommend putting on your rice beforehand so that when your chicken is done, your rice is ready to eat. You got to eat this dish with white rice. So here's my beautiful rice cooker, all purple and pink. Here are the ingredients you need for this dish. We have a cup of skin. We have 20 to 25 cloves of garlic. Yeah, that much garlic is gonna be awesome. And you wanna make sure to mince the garlic up. Don't put it in whole. We have 10 thinly sliced pieces of ginger. Uh, we have here uh, green chili pepper that I used about two to three of. We have two cups of Thai basil. Um, three teaspoons of sugar and then we have sesame oil, um, soy sauce and rice wine. Finally around two pounds of chicken cut up into bite-sized pieces. Also I'm gonna add an additional ingredient into my three cup chicken that's not very traditional. I'm gonna add potatoes. You know why? Because my chicken is gonna be saucy. You know what goes so well with saucy chicken? Potatoes. This is why when you go eat fried chicken, you need to have mashed potatoes. When you eat stewed chicken, I've got to add potatoes. So I have about two potatoes in here and they're diced up into little pieces. This way when it simmers with the chicken and the sauce, all the flavors can penetrate these potatoes in short amounts of time. And if you're a traditionalist and don't really want to add potatoes into your three cup chicken and make it taste better, then you know, whatever, you don't have to add it in. But I'm telling you, this is gonna make your three cup chicken taste even more awesome. As you guys can see, I'm using chicken breast. Typically when you order this dish or cook this dish, you're using chicken thighs and chicken wings and you chop them up in pieces um, with the bones still inside. But I hate that. I don't like biting into bones. Sometimes like I bite into it and it hurts my teeth. The only bad thing about using only chicken breast is uh, it's white meat. But you know what? I'm gonna sacrifice a little taste and a little moisture so I don't have to bite into a chicken and chip a tooth. Anyway, you can use chicken wings or chicken thighs. I'm gonna stick to the chicken breast. Now let's talk a little bit about what those three cups in the three cup chicken generally refer to. This dish is called Sanbeiji or three cup chicken because typically it cooks a whole chicken and utilizes three cups of three separate sauces. The sesame oil, soy sauce, and rice wine. But in our case, we're only cooking with about two pounds of meat, so we're going to cut all that in half. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our soy sauce, rice wine, and sugar into one big bowl. We got a big bowl, in goes our half a cup of soy sauce, half a cup of rice wine. Then we're gonna take our sugar and dump it in. We're just gonna go ahead and mix that all around. It's okay if the sugar doesn't completely dissolve in this because this is cold liquid. Just uh, give it a nice mix and set it aside. Now we're ready to cook. Turn the heat on high, and we're gonna go ahead and put half a cup of sesame oil into this pot. Okay, sesame oil goes in. Heat this up just a bit till it starts bubbling. You can hear the popping sounds of the oil. All right, that sounds good. And the sesame oil whisperer is telling me that it's good to go. So now I'm gonna add my ginger, garlic, and hot peppers. Ginger. Garlic, mm. hot peppers. Go ahead and give that a nice stir for just about a minute. 
So the ginger, garlic, and pepper can become warm with the oil. Now your oil is going to be really aromatic. So now when you cook the chicken, it's going to get all in there on the chicken. And that's what you want. You want things to get into that chicken. All right, so just about a minute. That is smelling so heavenly. When this becomes really fragrant, that means it's ready for the chicken. Now you're going to put your two pounds of chicken right up in there. This is my favorite part. You're going to stir fry this for about three to five minutes until the chicken is white all around. And right now it's soaking in all that delicious oil that has the ginger, that has the garlic, the pepper. Now it's looking awesome. My chicken looks ready. Now I'm going to dump in my mixture of sugar, soy sauce, and rice wine. There we go. There we go, our soy sauce, rice, wine, and sugar are all mixed in here. So now what we're going to do is uh, we are going to add the potatoes. Get all the potatoes nice and in there. You're going to bring this to a boil and then turn this on low heat. Leave your pan uncovered and let this simmer for about 25 to 30 minutes until the sauce starts to thicken. This is when all the flavors sink into the chicken and the potatoes. So I am excited. Here we go. I'm going to tuck all the chicken and potatoes in. All right, so I'm going to go watch an episode of Friends and let this just simmer. I just shot off the heat. Look how good this is. Oh my God, this looks delish. It smells heavenly. Now for the final part of this cooking process. Go ahead and turn your heat back on high. Remember those basil leaves and scallions we set aside before? So go ahead and dump those in. And just stir fry that. So go ahead and cook that with the rest of your chicken for about a minute and a half to two minutes. This smells so awesome. Getting ginger, garlic. You know what? Somebody should actually create a fragrance called Three Cups Chicken. All right, there we go. This dish is officially done. Kaput. Finished. Ready to eat. Take a look, guys. You got some wonderful colors in there. The sauce is nice and thick, especially because I added potatoes. The sauce is extra thick and the potatoes in the sauce are going to taste so mushy and nice and potatoey. This is going to be awesome. And then I like to garnish this with a little bit of cilantro. Some of you guys don't like cilantro, but I love it. So there it is, everybody. Three cups chicken with uh, some potatoes. Also here, I have some steamed jasmine white rice, which smells absolutely fantastic. And the sauce is going to go so good with this rice. All right, here we go. Mm. This. It's amazing. Mmm. I said before, the potato is going to go so well with this dish. Look at this potato right here. It's perfect. It's soaked in all the sauce, all the juice. Melts in your mouth. The cilantro on this actually makes it even better. Of course, if I used dark meat, my chicken will be a little more moist. But actually, I'm okay with uh, breast meat. This tastes absolutely fine to me. Also, you want to be careful of this because the ginger does look like a piece of chicken. And there has been many times in my life where I bit down into this and thought it was a piece of chicken and got a rude awakening. Bah! Threw that away. Now, you know what can make this dish even better? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Here we go. My own home-cooked hot oil into this dish. If you like your rice dish with a kick, definitely put hot oil in here. It takes this up to a whole different level. Mm. 
And guys, trust me about the potatoes. It's gonna make this dish so much better. You know what else I love about this dish? You can reheat it over and over again, and it always goes so perfectly with rice. All the sauce soaks into the rice, the rice becomes like a tasty entree on its own. Anyway, I have all the ingredients listed in the description box below. Make sure you take a look at that before you start cooking. All right guys, go try this dish out and let me know how you like it. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.